Ah. Oh. Oh, we're building one sexy beast. Ryan Shroud is back with PC Perspective as we continue our build on the ultimate gaming machine, in this case, the ultimate virtual reality gaming machine, because we're building this for Oculus Rift and everything else. Every, uh, last week I said the game I'm most looking forward to this year is No Man's Sky. Um, and I bet you that'll be a VR title. You'd be crazy not to make that a VR title. And I'm hoping this will play it beautifully. So, Ryan, welcome back from PC Perspective and uh, This Week on Computer Hardware. We have a uh, Asus motherboard, an Intel Core i7 processor. We have decided to put in an NVIDIA 980 Ti Strix yep. card from Asus. The Strix line is their, uh, their quiet line. And you can see why quiet might be important with a card that's actually as big as the motherboard. <laughs> but now, you're not going to run it like that. You've got to put it in a case. So, we unveil the case. It's just the monolith from 2001, A Space Odyssey. Which case did you... Actually, this is beautiful. What case did you pick and why? This is uh, from a company that a lot of people might not know of. It's from a company called Fantex. Uh, and then the series is called Enthu evolve right so uh it's it's the fantex enthu evolve it's spelled kind of oddly so i'll leave it for you guys to put up on a lower third or something like that yeah um but it is uh cases are interesting right because it's a very pref like personal decision what do you like what styling do you appreciate because any metal square box will work right. essentially for a case it's just about how how fancy you want to get and then what kind of styling you want i uh, love the idea of having a window that's really so nice you don't All have to open it up. Stuff. And especially because of the motherboard we got, the Asus has lots of readouts and lights and stuff. It's really designed for a case where you can see it working, right? Yep, yep. It is. I really like the front of this. Uh, I like the way it looks. I like the way the doors open up and come off. The, nice the doors relax. actually kind of open in a... I think this is another... To me, this is the number one feature for any case is ease of access. And yep. the fact that this plexiglass door swings open giving me full access to the drive base, to the motherboard. Uh, that's exactly how it should be. I love this. And actually, the door will come off of the hinges as well. So if you, like, are setting it on its side, on, on the table to work on it, you don't have to worry about it, like, flexing oh, or that's anything. Good. Yeah, you just pull them right off the hinges like that. Yeah. Yep, just like that. Uh, uh, good. Oh, man, is this pretty. Now, of course, this doesn't come with a power supply. No. So we have nope. to buy a power supply. And we're going to go for the power supply. We're going to go with Corsair, right? Yep. Oh, no, that's that's the cooler. That's Another the box. cooler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. EVGA's Supernova 750P2 Platinum Power. 750 watts. Now, one thing I found out early on when I was building PCs is that the wattage of the power supply is just a best guess. A good power supply, like from PC Power and Cooling, will let you know, will really be that power. Are EVGA okay. good in that respect? I'm they are. The re I mean, we, we picked this power supply because we had done a review of this, and you can get all 750 watts out of it. It yeah. actually will spike a little bit higher if you need to. As it should, yeah. Uh, and it's a platinum uh, power supply, which is the, I think it's the highest, maybe it's the second highest, uh, like, performance efficiency rating. So it will run at 92% efficiency. Oh, it's, uh, it's, is it green? Uh, uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> 750 watts. It's really green. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it will it is as green as you can get uh, for that kind of oh, wattage. Look at right? the and braided cables. Yep, it's completely oh. modular, um, which oh, I love. Makes installation man. easy. You can route all the cables, uh, you know, in either direction, and then connect it up to the power supply, and then whatever you know device you're connecting it to after the fact. And look at all the cables. You'd never go. You'll never have to buy another cable. This is right. How many devices can I attach to this sucker? Look I have this. that list here. You can. Uh, it has four eight-pin and two six-pin PCI connectors. So for graphics cards, essentially, it has ten SATA connectors, Jeez. four Molex connectors, the old four-pin, and it still has one floppy connector too. Should that be necessary? <laughs> a floppy something. connector. But yeah. I do. I have to say, I know that you shouldn't judge a power supply by this. But those braided cables really look sweet, and that's going to make yep. this look so so nice you said it's modular what does that mean so all the cables are disconnected from the power supply you don't have any cables already attached to the power supply um so if you take it out of the no uh, extra little, cables little in the box just the cables you need right well and what you'll see is when you take it out of the out of the little bag there you'll see the connectors for it. So you only connect the cables that you need you don't have to you don't connect all of the cables 
um, to it, it'll just make the inside of your case messy. Right. Uh, so if you're like, okay, I've only got one GPU, so I only need two of the PCI uh, power cables, Holy. and boom, you only install those two and you're done. And that is a monster muffin fan on the top of it. That's good because the bigger the fan, the quieter, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So this is going to be a fairly quiet, stable. We picked one um, that's, you know, it's 750 watts, so it's more than uh, enough power should you want to add a second GTX 980 How do you TI. calculate the wattage? You just add up the requirements of each component? That's pretty much what you do. There are a couple of really good resources. Uh, EVGA, actually, on their website, has a power supply calculator where you go tell what processor you're going to use, if you're going to overclock, what graphics cards, and it will tell you, like, here's what the minimum power supply you should get. And the general rule is, you know, you take the maximum power draw of each component, add 20% to everything, and that's kind of the, the, the wattage you go for. So you have a little bit of headroom. <laughs> it's really funny because... It not only comes with a bag for the power supply, in case you want to travel with it, it comes, <laughs> it comes with a bag for all the cables. But I well, you're going to have extra. Yeah, you have extra cables. You may need these later, somewhere to put them that's nice. Yep. What, you yeah. know, I, this just little touches like that just kind of make me happy. I mean, it just, it shows some class. It shows that they've got some style here. The, the, the PC, the DIY PC industry has like, it's growing up, right? So yeah. the people who do this are now specifically doing this. They're, people don't do this to save money necessarily anymore. They're doing it because they like to do it. So that's when you start to get some of those touches in there. It should. It should. And it's nice pebbled uh, steel f surface there. That is a beautiful power supply. And since the power supply can really impact reliability of the PC, I don't think you should stint on that. In fact, cases that come with built-in power supplies usually have the cheapest power supply possible. And that's yes. something that people forget. That can really be the source of a lot of problems on a PC is an unreliable uh, power supply. All right. Agreed. Let's talk about uh, cooling now because you've kind of let the cat out of the bag, or I did. Uh, our cooler, we're not going to use passive cooling, not just a bunch of fans. Right. This, this is liquid so, cooling? This is this is a uh, Corsair H100i GTX. It is considered a uh, self-contained water cooler. So basically that means it is water cooling without all the mess of setup oh. and plumbing and trying to fill and, and then you know, clear so, out air bubbles and all that stuff. Always makes me so nervous because water and PCs don't mix. So I love the idea of a sealed subsystem that yep. I don't have to mess with. And I never have to refill it or anything. Correct. Oh. Nope. Uh, and they've done, uh, you is know, it, extra Is it work. actual water, H2O in there? Uh, it is water with some additives to kind okay. of prevent, uh, you know, mildew and all that type of stuff and from building it. Yeah, as it should be. So right. uh, this is going to be the big cooling unit, which is really just a radiator. Yep. Um, the and radiator then... will attach to the top of the inside the case. And then the other part connected there is the water block and pump that will affix to the processor itself. So this is going to go on the CPU. Yep. Wow, look at that. It's got some pre-applied thermal paste. Some people will scrap that, you know, scrape that off and put their own on. I think that's perfectly fine to use the one that comes with it. Well, especially uh, since people tend to be over liberal with paste, it's hard to get it just right. You don't want to use yeah. too much or too little. And then there's the fan with, uh, boy, that's gonna that's gonna radiate a lot of heat. And that's gonna sit next to a fan in the case, I presume, so it gets the maximum airflow over it. There are two fans in the box as well. Oh. Right. that you will attach. So this is a 240 millimeter radiator, so it's two 120 millimeter fans, right? Um, this there's is all kinds beautiful, of I have to say. Shapes. Now, it is good looking. Do you, have to, do you have to consider this when you're buying the case? I guess you do. You do. Um, I, I would say some, you know, if, you, if, you get a, if you're getting a full-size ATX case, in general, I would say you're going to have support for both single and dual radiator uh, coolers like this, but it's always good to check and make sure. Uh, and that's something that cases are definitely, um, uh, they're talking about, they're advertising what their capabilities are now, right? right? Because right. it's something that people would, would, would be interested in. You know what's uh, great case, is there are no little fans in this whole case. Everything is big, even in the case it's a big fan. Uh, that's good because you're not going to get whiny little noises. You're going to get quiet operation, even though there are going to be quite a few fans running on this thing. Yep. Yep, and this has a uh, built-in um, kind of like fan control, right? So it will. Yeah, I see the, uh, see when the things connectors go up. here. So we'll we'll have sensors. We'll know how 
hot yep. everything is, all the fans will be. Can we actually turn them up, or will they just go automatically? Yep. I mean, you can you can set a specific uh, uh, speed, but it's better to let the PWM kind of like the power right. management deal with it. Right. Uh, I think the water block there even has an LED light that you can change the color <laughs> to uh, software. Of course so, it of course. does. Yes. Of course it does. Oh man, is this going to be beautiful? So we're going to get going pretty soon because I think there's some assembly required at this point. It is time to start putting things yeah. together. Now it's yeah. the case you can actually start down that road. Who wants to, uh, should, do I get to do that or does somebody else get the honors? I'm kind of looking forward to it. Let's get our powered screwdriver and uh, next week uh, we're gonna add RAM. What, what else do we have to do? Oh, storage is gonna be a big deal. We gotta find a nice drive, big capacity, high speed. Uh, but we're getting close. Uh, we're this, getting this is the fifth component and uh, John has just handed me my power tool. I am, uh, <laughs> that is a good screwdriver. Even the screwdrivers have gotten better, haven't they? Wow, look at that. Ryan Shrout, you'll find out uh, more about uh, all of the hardware they recommend. There are reviews of everything at pcper.com. Don't forget the HW leaderboard. Much of this is on the HW leaderboard, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Are we dreaming? Mm -hmm. We're close to the dream machine. Yep, yep, getting up there. Yep, yep. And uh, of course, This Week in Computer Hardware, he does with Patrick Norton every Thursday on this very same network. Ryan, thanks so much. This is this is now starting to get pretty darn exciting. This is going to be a beautiful PC. I can't wait. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, guys.